Jared. Hey, Dan, what's up? Well, I was up all night baking this key lime pie. Would you like a piece? I would love some. Right. I'm not very hungry right now, so I'll take maybe like an eighth. Mm, okay, caught us a piece. <laughs> Worked really hard on this. It looks delicious. Thank you. Oh. It's a little big. Here, here's an eighth. Somebody needs to work on their fractions. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to another Thursday Learn Day, and today we're gonna be practicing some fractions with our Sphero Bolt and the Sphero EDU app. And what you're gonna need to do before you get started is to click the link in that program description to download and print off these fraction cards we made for you. And that's really all you need to get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Danny take the top fraction card here, and we're actually gonna be starting with 5 sixteenths. All right, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to change my variable in that first block to 16 so that it matches the denominator on my card. And then I'm gonna simply start the program. Before running the program, make sure to set the fraction variable to the desired denominator. Turn bold to the left until you see the fraction you are looking for. Right. 1 16. 3 sixteenths, 4 sixteenths, 4 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths. And now we can see five sixteenths. the picture and bolt five matches. Sixteenths. And you can keep going through all the different fraction cards to identify all sorts of fractions to help you understand how to cut a pie better next time. Yeah, and another thing that you could do to make it even more challenging would be to actually turn the volume off on your device so that it's not speaking the fraction aloud. Excellent point. All right, let's send it off now to Binary Bill to learn about how this fraction program works. Robot ball, I was hoping for a piece of pie. At the top of the program, when you set the fraction variable to a number, you're really just setting the denominator of the fraction. So I've set mine to four, and I've got my one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths, and four-fourths cards all set up. The program is set up in such a way where when you pick the denominator, it calls a function relative to that denominator that splits the matrix into that many pieces. And in my case, it'll be split into four pieces, or otherwise known as quarters. Okay, let's see if I can do two-fourths, which if I remember correctly is the same as one-half. Spin the robot. And I flip the card over, boom, it matches. The main loop of this program just picks the correct fraction function based on the denominator that you chose. Then if you take a closer look at, let's say the fraction quarter function, the one I just used, you notice that there is a different yaw orientation set up such that when you spin the Sphero, a different quarter displays on the matrix. And we also have it read aloud with the speak block. All of the other functions are set up the same way. And the larger your denominator is, the more nested if-else conditions your function will have. And that's really all there is to it. Do you think you can actually cut a pie into 16 slices? I don't think they go that small. It's just not enough pie. Feel free to go ahead and make even more fraction functions with different denominators. Hey guys, I'm still waiting on my pie over here. Guys! Thanks, Binary Bill. Be sure to check out the Fraction Program and the Sphero EDU app along with all of our other Thursday Learn Days, and we will see you next week. Is there any pie left? Sure is. Whoa. One half to be exact. Is it good? Looks awesome. The sound of it hitting, it wrapping around my face. Dude, way to go on the one take.